Lancastown Tigers finished last year 12 and 14, third in the Freedom Division, but had two state qualifiers. For head coach Frank Rogers, entering his 21st year in charge, he's looking for this team to improve as the season goes along during a tough, brutal schedule. Uh, well, we start our normal way. Uh, like I said, we lost a few practices for football, but I don't think it's going to major, be a major issue. Uh, the key for us is like a few of the weight classes, we're only one deep, so we got to keep everybody healthy in order to compete. Uh, our schedule is a good schedule. Uh, again, since the regions and the districts change so much, our, our schedule is completely different than what you're used to seeing. I mean, we still wrestle some of the standbys, Warren Hills, Belvedere, uh, high points in our conference. So we still have some quality matches. Uh, then we have some uh, out of the, the area teams that are good. Um, so we have a competitive schedule. Hopefully it will get us ready for the sections. A wrestler looking to have an impressive finish in his final year at Hackettstown is Alex Carita. The senior who finished last year 38-4 sits at 96 wins for his career and has an outside shot of breaking the school wins record of 123. He's been working hard in the preseason to get ready for this year. I'm working on the mat more. Uh, I'm uh, on my feet. I'm trying to move my feet more. I mean, it was a disappointing end of the last year. I'm just hoping I can get on the court this year. This is a good Hackettstown team, but they have a problem a lot of other squads have. Not a lot of depth, and certain wrestlers are bunched up at a weight class where others are empty. I like the team's chances, however, to improve their record. I think they'll finish right at 500 and third in the Freedom Division. For GardenStateHSWrestling.com, Donald J. Brower, reporting.